Hello everyone, in this video I want to give you my review and experience to share with you about the Dopey Challenge in Walt Disney World in Florida, in the United States. When I wanted to do the Dopey Challenge, there weren't a lot of videos that I really could find that can tell me about that experience and what to keep in mind and considerations. So I want to do that very quickly for a few minutes in this video if you were thinking about doing the Dopey Challenge in the near future. Okay, first things first, what is the Dopey Challenge? So the Dopey Challenge is part of Run Disney. These are races that are at the theme parks or surrounding the theme parks and a lot of the Disney parks that are out there. Like Disneyland has some runs out there, but they got those canceled because they were um, building out some of their Star Wars uh, parks. But Disney World is where they have a lot of the races. And you have 5K races, 10Ks, half marathon, you have full marathon. So you have all the races out there. And they call it the Marathon Weekend. It's in January of every year. That takes place really across four, but really like five days. And you have the expo that you go to. So you can do any one of these races, but there are some challenges that you can do. Ooh. There's one called the Goofy Challenge, and the Goofy Challenge is if you do the half marathon and the full marathon, then you will complete the Goofy Challenge. So you get, you get a Goofy Challenge t-shirt, you get a Goofy Challenge medal, and of course you get your race medals for the half and the full. Well, there is something called the Dopey Challenge, which is you running all of the races of um, across four consecutive days. That's right. So on Thursday, you're doing a 5K. Then on Friday, you're doing a 10K. Then on Saturday, you're doing a half marathon. Then on Sunday, you're doing a full-blown marathon. So that is a total of 48.6 miles. You get six race medals. So you get the medal for the 5K, 10K, the half and the full and you would get two challenge medals for the Goofy Challenge because that's included and you get the Dopey um, Challenge medal. And my, goof, my Dopey Challenge medal is right, right there. You can see it there in the video. I'll show a different picture of what that looks like of all the major medals that I got. You also get a lot of t-shirts. So you get t-shirts for the 5K, the 10K, the half, the full, the Goofy Challenge shirts, the Dopey, shirts, which is what I like to wear, but that's the big boy, right? So that is what those races and what those challenges are. Pricing, if you are looking at doing the Dopey Challenge, it is going to be uh, probably the most expensive type of race that you will ever will do in your life, depending on what kind of running you actually do. So it will cost you around 630 US dollars. So just keep that in mind, but I'm not including the price for hotel or at the resorts. I'm not including um, airplane tickets. I'm not including food or souvenirs that you may buy. The price for the race itself is $630. Why? Why did I want to do the Dolphy Challenge? I'm sure that every person will have their own reasons. For doing so. So for me, in 2019, my goal was to um, was to run and to finish a 50 mile race. Um, in 2018, it was to do a 50K. So I finished that. And again, in 2019, I finished and I trained for a 50 mile race. I did it at the Cascade uh, Super Ultra is in uh, South Cleam, Washington. It's a 50 mile race and I finished it in September of 2019. And uh, when you're training for a 50 miler, you're putting a lot of time on your feet. You're putting a lot of miles. So, I mean, I'm doing 20 mile runs back to back, back to back. That's what you do. Um, you get prepared for a, a race like that. And since I'm already putting in those miles, let's go ahead and cash in and do the Dopey Challenge, right? This would be much easier because it is spread out across four days instead of running all 50 miles in one day. And I 
don't have plans of running anything higher than 50 miles because I just don't like doing that. Um, it was a personal thing for why I did a 50 mile um, race. So I said, hey, let's just take advantage, do the dopey challenge while we still have the, that fitness level um, to do those longer type of runs. So that's why I did it. Okay, so let me just very quickly kind of walk you through what is the, um, the process of what happens for those races. So for the dopey challenge, really, it's kind of broken out into two phases. There is phase one, which is really doing the 5K and the 10K. You get one bib that you use for those two days. Then phase two is the big boys. That is the half and the full marathon. That's, you get another bib for those races. So it really feels like these are two different experiences that you encounter. And I'm saying that for a reason. But for all of them, so starting out with the 5K and the 10K, it is recommended that you definitely stay at one of the resorts. That is gonna be your best option. Because if you stay at one of the Disney resorts, then they have a shuttle. So for these shuttles here, um, you have to be on the bus. And I think I'll put up a picture here to kind of show an example. I say that the um, Port Orleans French Quarter was one of the cheaper ones out there. Um, so that's what I went ahead and stayed at. And it cost me around, eh, around $3,200, $3,200. And that's excluding food, by the way. That's just for the four or five or six days that we were there to do the race. I brought my family out there, but we just had one room. Anyway, but being at the resort, they have the, they have the shuttles and they are fantastic. That is really one of the big things because you don't have to worry about how do I get there and parking. None of that exists. You just go ahead, you gotta be on the bus, I think by 3.30 a.m. in the morning. And then it takes you to Epcot, which is where the starting line is. And from there is a lot of waiting. You're waiting for a lot of time before the race starts. So eventually you can take pictures with you and some of your favorite Disney characters, if that's your thing. But you go to the starting corral, and then eventually the corrals start going to the starting line and then boom, the race starts at 5.30 a.m. So again, it'll be like two hours of waiting for the race actually starts. Actually, it's longer, but I'll talk about that later with pros and cons. I just wanna talk about what that experience is to keep in mind. All right, so then boom, the race starts. And uh, I think for the very first race, for the 5K, we're kind of just going through um, Epcot. That's all you're doing because uh, it's just three miles. But also along the way, you get to take pictures with some of your favorite Disney characters. So there's people during the race that are running, then they stop, they wait in line to take pictures with Snow White and the other characters. That's not for me, um, but if that's your thing, then you're gonna love that. And of course, people all dressed up with different characters from Disney, Marvel, or other kind of combination that they have, right? So. That's something that they actually did. So that's kind of the experience with the um, 5K. So once you're done with the race, you go across the finish line, and of course they're taking pictures of you along the way. You would get your race medal, and then from there you would get to have, you get to pick up some snacks. It's very easy, and you just kind of walk along the path, so you kind of get your race medal. You get a banana if you want. You get like a little um, snack box if you want. And then from there, you just line up, um, at your appropriate bus stop. So for me, um, I'm at bus number six, it's orange, that's part of what they told us at the resort. So I just wait in that line and get on the bus and they drop us off at our resort. That's pretty much it. So that is the experience for all the races, for the 5K, for the 10K. Now for the half and the full marathon, they're, they're similar, but you have to wake up earlier. So for like the um, half marathon, you have to um, catch the bus by three in the morning. For the full marathon, it's by 2.30 in the morning, okay? And the reason is because their starting lines are a little different and strange to me. So for that, sure, a shuttle will drop you off at Epcot, that doesn't change, but you have to walk I'm not, I'm not kidding. So once you're off the shuttle and you go to like this other location near the bathrooms, you have to walk almost a mile 
to get to the actual starting corral. And I mean a mile. And it's like, it kind of takes you to the freeway. Like you gotta walk to the freeway. And um, that's a little strange when you're doing 13 miles or 26 miles or the Adobe Challenge where you're doing both races. That's a lot of miles on your feet that you have to do just to get to the starting line. Uh, but it's not a big deal. It's more organized with the corrals compared to the 5K and the 10K. And from there, yeah, it's the same experience. You're waiting until the race starts, which is 5.30 for the half marathon and five in the morning for the full-blown marathon. And for at least for the marathon, you're running through all of the four major parks. This is actually on the shirt right here. You're running through Epcot and Magic Kingdom, and yeah, yeah. Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios. You're running through all of the parks. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, so that is really the overall experience. Uh, if you have done a challenge on the last, last day, the marathon, when you finish the marathon, you get your marathon medal, cool. Then you go to a special section that says challenge medals. And they will confirm with your bib and that the bib matches picture can take a picture of you at the expo to make sure that it's the same person that's getting these medals if that makes sense you got to have integrity folks okay so then from there you go ahead and you get your goofy challenge medal and you get your dopey challenge medal depending on what challenge that you are going to do and then from there yeah you get your your food your snacks and off you go so that is in general a very quick rundown of what to expect for these races